Now, earlier this year, there was a famous moto vlogger by the name of Moto Tanya that got killed on her bike. She was actually riding with another motorcycle rider that supposedly clipped her and threw her into oncoming traffic. She ended up getting hit by a truck and then she died. Um, you know, I did a video on it. If you haven't seen that video, go check out the link top right corner. But uh, I, I said that, in my opinion, that's one of the reasons why I don't ride with other bikers because I feel like it can be dangerous. But some of you guys said cycle crews of riding alone is boring. I'm going to tell you why you're wrong about that. Motorcycle riding alone is not boring, and I'm going to tell you why. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. If you want to get my gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet, Motovlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe. All of my gear, I always include links in the description and comment section. You know, I've been on YouTube since 2012. I have not ridden with a rider one time. Right, I have ridden alone uh, my entire uh, tenure as a motorcycle rider. And I tell you, I get enjoyment out of riding alone. But there's a lot of you out there that just, you feel like you're bored. You're bored riding alone. That's because you have the wrong mindset. You know, a lot of you guys out there can't stand being alone yourself. Like, some people have to have people around them or they just don't feel, I don't know, they, they get depressed about it or something. It's a mindset. For me, I'm the opposite. I actually like being alone. I don't like being, people irritate me a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? I enjoy people's company, uh, certain people's company sometimes. And But a lot of times, I like my time alone, man. And to me, riding a motorcycle, this is my time alone, and it's like meditation to me. But I'm going to tell you when you, you know, a lot of you guys ride alone in your cars. But do you stop driving a car and say a driving a car is boring because you, you drive alone? No. <laughs> Who says that? Nobody does. But when it comes to motorcycles, people out there, for some reason, they get lonely riding alone on a motorcycle and it makes it makes no sense to me man because it's about cruising out here enjoying the scenery um feeling the torque of the motorcycle um, what enjoyment what real enjoyment are you getting by riding with another rider you know just their presence with you somehow makes you feel uh, makes it feel more worthwhile for you or something I don't understand it. That doesn't. That, that never made sense to me because I, I personally I hate being followed and I hate following somebody because I, I don't want to ride where they want to ride sometimes and and uh, sometimes they want would want to speed or something and then want me to speed and race each other. And that's not what I want to do. A lot of times I want to be erratic. I want to go ride just you know rip the throttle somewhere. Here and there, or bust a wheelie, and that can be irritating to other riders. So it just doesn't work out with me when it comes to riding with other bikers. You know what I'm saying? So it, to me, riding with other bikers is boring. But I'm telling you, if you're riding with other bikers, they can end up getting you killed or end up getting your license suspended because if they you know, if it appears that you're racing, like the other person's like speeding ahead of you or something, and then you speed to catch up, the police gets, you know, they could possibly cite you for, for racing out here on the streets or something, which can be in a felony offense out here, man. Honestly, it, I, I just don't really see the benefit of riding with other riders. And there's a lot of times when you're riding with other bikers, these car drivers, some of these people, they hate bikers and they see us as a threat. They may think you're like a gang or something. I've seen uh, several you know, uh, news reports in the past where people, uh, uh, like a truck, just plowed into a bunch of bikers, man. This scene is something Fairmount Police Chief David Payne says he'll never forget. It was just before 2 p.m. on September 17th when Chief Payne heard the dispatch call about a white truck driving recklessly near his office. When he went outside, he saw the driver had plowed into three motorcycles on Highway 411 and took off. At least one of the motorcyclists died. Four others were injured. The Fairmount Police Chief is still shocked by what happened here last weekend. Astonished. I was hoping nobody was still on the motorcycle. I've been here 30 years, and this is the first time that I've ever seen anything like this. Because they, they hate bikers. They see large groups of them, 
and it pisses them off for some reason. I don't know, man. And I, I've seen how people, you know, riders can get, they get like a pack mentality when they get with other bikers and they start acting fool, more foolish than they normally would when they ride alone. Like I've seen, I passed a, a bunch of bikers once and they're revving their throttles, busting wheelies, speeding. That's where they probably wouldn't do that normally just riding alone. They'd probably just be cruising out here on the streets. But they like, a lot of riders out here want to show out, you know. Uh, show off and show out for other riders for me personally there's no real benefit to uh riding with other bikers unless you're riding off-road now that's a different to me if you're riding off-road like with dirt bikes or dual sports and you're riding on trails that's different entirely man you know what i'm saying you're not going to show out show off and act a fool and uh you're going to be a lot more cautious riding off-road so i'm not talking about off-road riding i'm talking specifically on the street but you really have to change your mindset and uh, appreciate riding alone, man. Enjoy just like you would in your car, cruising, you know what I'm saying? And uh, enjoy the torque, the sound. You know, I, I, I had a neighbor, he said, man, I don't ride, I don't ride my motorcycle anymore because I don't have nobody to ride with. I'm like, dude. <laughs> Enjoy the ride, man. It's not I, like I, I, I'm. I just. I was like, dude, how can you quit riding a motorcycle because you don't have anybody to ride with? That just it never made any sense to me, man, at all. Why? Why people say this? Like I said, you you get in your car and you don't think twice about driving alone. You enjoy it. You cruise the streets, listen to some music, and uh, but. For some reason, a motorcycle, oh, it's so boring riding alone. It ain't boring, man. That's for maybe because you're sitting on a super bike all hunched over trying to look cool out here. And that, to me, that's lame after a while. I did it. It gets lame. You know what I'm saying? Get a motorcycle like an MTL7 with some nice bottom end grunt and sits nice and upright. You feel comfortable, low. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot of bottom end grunt. And, um, uh, enjoy that beautiful sound out here enjoying the beautiful scenery here downtown Cleveland Ohio baby enjoy the cruise enjoy the motorcycle for those of you guys that are whining about riding alone is boring you guys are not true bikers you really aren't man because uh, the, the, the real true bikers out there they'll, they'll go ride across the country alone there was a biker he rode he, was, he had cancer, found out he had cancer. He, he bought a Ducati Patagalli at $11.99 back in the day. And uh, he rode that bike all the way across the United States and back by himself and had the best time. Even wrote a book about it, man. And uh, sadly, he died. But he did one last thing he really wanted to do. Check this. Not only did Dennis Madsen travel across the United States and back on his Ducati Panigale 1199S, but he also traveled on his Ducati throughout Canada and continental Europe within a period of five years. And he chronicled it in two books, which I have a link to in the description and comment section of this video. If this isn't the definition of a true biker, I don't know what is, man. That's a real biker right there that truly appreciates the motorcycle and, and riding because uh, it's the experience is like I said the bike and you you're all you're you're at one another biker is is not really providing any any thrill for you at all <laughs> you know what I'm saying they could be a, more of an irritation a lot of times I'm trying to get you guys to appreciate riding alone out here on the streets and uh you know what I'm saying and and then, you know what I'm saying, I'm out here in a, in a cemetery here, guys, and a lot of bikers end up here dead because they ride with other riders like Moto Tanya. Unfortunately, she's in the cemetery now. And uh, because she rode with a rider, had she been riding alone, enjoying the cruise, uh, she would be here today, most likely, man. And um, sad. Rest in peace, Moto Tanya. Rest in peace to all the bikers that have passed away uh, that have, uh, because of another biker, causing them to have an accident or causing them to speed race and everything else but anyways guys i appreciate all you guys i hope you guys all stay safe out there on the streets man make sure you're wearing all the gear including the airbag vests i got links to everything in the description and comment section of this video but anyways make sure to hit thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos release 
But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time.